so the fragility aspect actually came up when I was at the bank, after I'd been at the bank for about nine or 10 years. Uh, and it was a very interesting uh, uh, anecdote, if you like, uh, because this is sort of the, how it really got started at the bank as well. We used to have an annual meeting where we would review the countries that had performed particularly badly. We would review all countries, but we would review, pay a lot of attention to a country that had performed particularly badly in the past year in terms of their economy and poverty reduction and things like that. And it, it struck me that the, it was every year, it was the same countries that were on the list. You know, and we would say, oh, we have to do better with Burundi, uh, you know, next year. And then you go next year, Burundi is still on the list. And that's what got me thinking. Uh, and I remember talking to Paul Collier about this, because Paul was the director of the research department at the time. Say, you know, there's something going on here that why are these countries the same ones that are on the list? They're, they're actually, they're, there'll be some countries that join the list, but very few leave the list. Uh, and that's when we started thinking that there may be something uh, unique or distinctive about these, uh, about these countries. Um, so Shanta, you gave us a definition of fragility that's a bit more narrowly focused. It's focused on providing security and other services. Could you elaborate a bit more? I'm very curious about what other dimensions of fragility should we be considering in order to actually understand what's going on in the world today? Okay, so <laughs> there's always this tension because if uh, the, the broader you make the definition, the harder it is to then pin down particular solutions. Uh, but I think that's uh, that's part of this uh, this uh, syndrome, the phenomenon. So my de uh, the working definition of fragility is what I mentioned earlier, which is that the, the, the state is not able to provide basic security to its citizens. Uh, but there are many ramifications of that. One is the state has uh, is unable to provide other basic services like education and health and, and uh, water and sanitation. But the other is that that means... If, if the state is not providing basic security, um, that means that in the eyes of the citizens, the state has lost legitimacy. So fragility is also a perception from the point of view of the people in the country. And that's very important because it's not necessarily what we think from outside the country, although, you know, we're the ones who produce the fragility indices and, the, uh, and things like that. Uh, it's really that once the citizens are doing things going around the state or trying to undermine the, some of the excesses of the state, uh, then you're in a fragile situation, whether we observe it from our indicators or not. Mm -hmm.